Okay, hello again YouTube. This is my second video of this small OLED screen. OLED screen. Um, as you can see I have two development boards right now. I have made myself at home. And I have now ordered 100 uh, displays and PCBs and components. So I will be able to uh, sell 100 of uh, these boards but they will be smaller as I had said. Uh, earlier uh, the pins will be on the side and uh, this uh, green uh, flat cable here it will be under the screen so the board itself will, will be fairly small I'm going to show you now what I've done since last time uh, you can start it up it will show some pictures and this time it's the right colors and it's driven by my ARM Cortex M3 board here that I bought on eBay it has a parallel interface, 8-bit parallel interface and 16-bit colors, so 65,000 colors right now it's also connected to the TerraTerm because I'm running Windows 7 which doesn't have a hyper terminal you can download uh, Terra terminal which is uh, an open source and freeware program that works very good I will now start the application by resetting it and uh, well it says what it does So we get some focus back. As I had said earlier, don't mind the flickering. It doesn't show up in real life. The flickering is just because of the camcorder. And as you can see, the colors are splendid and uh, very vivid. And it's it's the same colors from anywhere. You can actually fit a whole lot of information on the, in this small display. As you can see, the colors are all right, even though it's in a great angle. As you can see, it's a uh, really fast update. I'm running my uh, ARM Cortex in 72 megahertz mode right now, and uh, since since it's a 16-bit, 65,000 colors display and uh, 96 uh, by 64 pixels, it takes about 12 kilobytes of uh, data to fill the whole screen, which is it's a, it's a really really small amount of data for the for the uh, arm itself. I will also show you some plasma effect or well, almost plasma effect. If we just stop the application here, uh, sorry about the delay, this will take a minute. Uh. Okay, let's see now. And I, re uh, I have now reprogrammed it to run the plasma effect. It's not a very great plasma effect, but let's see. Looks good in every angle, as I said earlier. effect but almost and for you who are asking about the sample code for this plasma effect 
You can tell I, I found it on the internet and it's a pure C code but it was actually made for computers so as you can see there are some errors and uh, I have not written this code myself I just ported it to the ARM processor Let's see if we get some something cool soon right now it just looks like static all static and there is something and this is uh, all made in real time and you can see the contrast of the screen the black the black uh, areas are really really black So th that was all about uh, the OLED screen right now. As you can see it's the right color and uh, you can fit a whole lot of information on it. I will, uh, I will be back with a video of the whole uh, factory made board later on. And as I said I have ordered 100 of uh, these boards but they will be significantly better and uh, smaller and uh, well better looking than uh, this uh, board this is a homemade board okay bye